And if I went to my doctor, I took my child to my doctor, to my parent, I'm a little old parents right now, but the parent to the doctor's office, and we went in together, and we said there are some major problems going on here, either for one or all of us. Um, what would that doctor's next step be? Would be, would it be great if they had seen your book and they understood a little bit about it, or is there something they would just say that they always say to everyone, and I'm not demeaning anyone, and they put them on a program where actually they need a lot more interest, they need a lot more information, and they need to work together, even if they're the only one in the family that needs to do it? Well, I think that, um, I think that what happens between a doctor and a patient is not what we're really talking about here because a doctor knows his patients better than you or I will ever know them. However, I think if he uses a one-size-fits-all approach that hasn't worked for 30 years, the chances of it working for that family, in my opinion, would not be very high. And I think that that really is what we're in need of. We're in need of a paradigm shift in the way we think about weight loss. We have to think about weight loss as a fat storage disorder and we have to change the way our body is, is driven to store fat and if we do that weight loss will become easier. And, and if you do it properly you can tap into your fat stores without becoming hungry. If you can do that then you have a long-term solution that people can stick with. Well, it seems to me your book, Feed Your Brain, Lose Your Belly, would be a great way to start and then to take it from there, and we sure appreciate your time. It's my pleasure. Thank you.